does it food? I'm just realizing I was doing a bit of King of Town for that one. Oh, potato drop. Will it food? Oh. Mm, butter. <laughs> oh, the, the King of Town is not quite there. All right, you, you, give, me, give me a little bit of... Give me a little bit of leeway on that one. Um, we save here because we are separated from Mario. Uh, that fight does not heal us. It did heal us, okay. And there will be enemies here that I would have to fight solo if I wasn't just the best at sick dodges. I don't have to worry about... Now, this is an area of the game that you can never come back to. By the way, there are missable, there are permanently missable items here. Uh, whatever's in these, so it's like mushrooms and stuff. It's not like anything. Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh, we got you past. I don't know why I did that that way, the dumbest way possible. It's fine. Mario is stuck in a barrel. Normally, that's the job of Mr. Green, according to the poems. Why did the original Chateau member write poems and then turn out to actually be a joke guy? That doesn't make sense. Poems of love. Shouldn't he just have been writing jokes? Oh, well. A crash. What were these? They were exaggerated British? Well, look at this. A very Mario-esque fellow and a uh, some other guy. What's that? What is it? Mario's guts are filled to the brim with Chocola Reserve. It's sloshing around his insides. Gross! That's, that's terrible. Sort of disgusting. Uh, we must contact Lady Lime immediately. Hmm, uh, by the way, what is Chocola Reserve? I have no idea. Well, this is the grossest thing that we could possibly do. Queen Bean has just been in a deep sleep, as you can see her now. Did you truly obtain some of the legendary Chocola Reserve? Yep, enjoy the backwash. Blurf. Blurf. Yeah, I would blurf too if I was you. Uh, baby Pupil is there. Ah, uh, there's a belly bletch worm. And that is what caused the monstrous transformation. <laughs> oh, success. A truly repugnant yet truly tremendous success. Queen Bean has returned. Ma, that's the hardest I've laughed in a long, long time. Well done, Lady Lima. No, your highness, it is not I, but rather the Mario Bros, whom you must thank. <laughs> oh, is that so? Kekla has stolen Princess Peach's voice and the Beanstalk. It was my fault. Nonsense. Why would Kekla steal the Beanstalk and Princess Peach's voice in the first place? Well, you see, I have this scroll right here. The Beanstalk is the protector of this land. It is the power to grant any and all desires. To prevent such a power from being used for evil, the Beanstalk was cast into a deep sleep. It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the Beanstalk from its slumber. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul. In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. So, the reason Kaklata stole Princess Peach's voice, and I had this handy dandy scroll along with the legend to show you what that would look like. Ah, she must plan to awaken the bean star and fulfill all of her desires. Which is just taking over the world, right? It's just always take over the world. And there's no mistaking her one true desire to rule the world! Yeah, I knew that. Fear not, for I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. We are prepared. Card for card, we have a better hand than she. Your Highness, Prince Peasley has arrived. Perfect timing, Master Mario, Master Luigi, head out to meet Prince Peasley. Yeah, it's time to go. You got places to be. Things to do, people to see. Cheers to Red and Greedy. Thank you for your help earlier. Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission is about to pay off. <laughs> Prince Peasley, excellent work on your mission. Have you learned the whereabouts of Cacletta? Hey, hey, 
thanks to you, absolutely. Southeast of this castle is Hoo Hoo University. Hooniversity, our local research institution. Kaklet and her underlings have just snuck in there into Hoo Hoo Hooniversity. Yes, of course. Hoo 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 Hooniversity is the perfect place to awaken the Beanstalk. I intend to march into the Hoo Hoo Hooniversity right this instant. May we meet again! Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be your chance to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are allowed passage into the road to Hoo Hoo Hooniversity. Okay. We can finally walk into the palace gardens. Uh, is there anything of note here that I care about? Are there hidden blocks up on this tallest platform? No. Not that I'm aware of. There are books. These books, if you strike a monster with your hammer in battle, they'll be stunned as the fight starts. Good to know. Once you successfully perform a bros attack multiple times, you will understand advanced commands. That's what I was talking about. Shopkeepers in the land seem a fine, smooth mustache. They become strangely generous. And the higher your stat points are, the easier it is to get lucky hits in battle. Good to know. Thanks for the knowledge. I actually did kind of want to read those in case there's some esoteric hint that I am not remembering. I will save in a minute, don't you worry. Got places to be, things to do. Town explorer. We couldn't get in here before. It was blocked off, remember? The the town had to have been fixed. Uh, don't go up that way, go up this way. Yeah, you remember where you're going. Is there a reason you're doing all of this? Yes. It's for beans. I just know that there are five who beans there. That is the biggest conglomeration of them you will see in the entire game. They are drip fed to you. They are the ultra rare prize. There is no way to hunt them down. It is annoying. This red pipe takes me to the other side and this charming fellow. Hey, welcome to the pipe house. I'm here to teach you everything you want to know about pipes. Uh, what I ask about the pipes? Yeah, sure. Which do you want to ask about? Uh, what's a what's a yellow pipe? Yellow pipes are for travel between seafloor and surface, or between above and below ground. There are lots of ocean and desert areas, so when you're in those regions, jump in yellow pipes. Uh, now tell me more. What you want to ask about? I'll talk about them green pipes here for a second. And uh, right, right, green pipes in a, in a green pipe to warp to another green pipe elsewhere in the land. You can choose a green pipe you've jumped in before, and you'll warp to it. Easy peasy. So, to find a green pipe, you'd better jump in on principle. Seriously, uh, just for a second. The more green pipes you jump into, the easier it'll be to travel around the kingdom quickly. There are nine green pipes all in all. Got that. Okay. Yeah, you're good. See you later. That is the weirdest character on in all of Mario Canon, as far as I'm concerned. Never seeing another thing like that again. Also, green pipe. Can you guess what number of green pipe this is? We've seen one, four, and five so far. Those were the only ones we could get to. This is three! Which we physically could not have got to before getting to pipe five. And I mean, technically, maybe you didn't explore all the way down to four, but still, come on. Um, no, not that way, this way. You have some stuff up in the gardens. I do. I'm not going to bother this man. That is an exercise for the viewers at home to figure out what's going on with him. Because reasons. Because reasons. Huh. Huh. I guess they're not always in invisible blocks. They are, uh... They can just sometimes be in regular blocks, but all invisible blocks that do hold huh, means. Um, one of these houses has another invisible block laying around here. Uh, I need to talk to you. You're important. 
Yo. Yo, 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 bros. You two dudes traveling? I'm like hurting over here in a big, big way, bros. Can you help a bean out? Yeah, sure, man. Seriously, bros, my little pet beanlets up and took it off on me. Poor little dudelets. If you can catch all five of them for me, I'd totally make it worth your while. You'll be like, score. Beanlets are tiny and green and stuff. Plus, they're all around. You, you can't miss them, seriously. Thing is, they ain't, you know, super motivated, so no way those little dudes would have left town. Come on, bros. I know you guys can take care of business. Get your supers on. All right, sounds like a plan. We'll do. Um, where are my little beanlet guys? I don't think they. Yeah, there we are. You got a beanlet. I don't think they appear inside of locations. They're just between these two screens here. Yeah. You got a beanlet, uh -huh. There we are. Ah, okay. Oh, we're actually catching a lot of who beans. Turns out. Let's listen to you. I am perhaps this town's greatest intellect. At present, it is the ancient uh, soybean civilization that has captured my focus and attention. Would you like to hear my report on this great civilization of yore? The ancient soybean civilization. The, the age of flying spinning beans, tunneling mole beans, and fast-moving dash beans. Yes, all evidence points to this advanced bean civilization once grazing this land. And as for the whereabouts of where the bean stones, the heretofore hidden treasures of the soybeans, I have perhaps stumbled across some astounding facts related to the matter. I theorize this that perhaps the, the bean stones were indeed buried and still rest beneath this very town. I desire so greatly to dig this town down to its foundations, and even deeper if I must, yet how am I to even guess where to begin digging? Where? The mind reels of the thought. I ask you this. How happy would I be if the two of you were to dig up these artifacts for me? Quite happy indeed! Uh, of course, uh, I could perhaps reward you. Could you find the jewels of the soybean civilization? The bean stones? Yeah, absolutely. Fascinating. You are bold specimens. I theorize that there are actually ten bean stones waiting to be unearthed. Yes, indeed. If you recover all ten for me, perhaps I might reward you. By the by, my theory suggests that the ancient soybeans were perhaps rather on the short side. Perhaps such information may have provided a clue to some sort to your bean stone search. Not a clue, man. Thanks for the thanks for the chatter, though. In battles, the L and R buttons are useful for moving back to the previous menu. If you perform an advanced command with bros attacks, you can damage spiked creatures, strike two foes simultaneously, and gain other bonuses as well. Keep powering up the same ability when you level up, you won't get high bonus wheel numbers. So shuffle it around. In the ground in the kingdom, there are said to be pits that are invisible to the naked eye. When tiny people stand on top of these invisible pits, the tiny people will react strangely. And playing on a Nintendo GameCube will cause the controller to react. We got some rumble features up in here. Uh, that's four. This room is nice, isn't it? I had a heater and a window and no... It has a heater and a window and no old bath or toilet. It's three years old and three seconds of the cafe. But as nice as it is, you can't have it. I just now read it to that fellow over there. Once in a while, I get to the urge to nap under a roof. I'll rent myself a room. But even then, they're rarely big enough for me. Yeah, there is no bathroom or toilet. It's... it's, it's... Wah, wah. There we go. All the beanlets secured. Now, now on with task number two. Using Mario to do a thorough sweep of where all these... There we are. Aha. You see his head? This is the spot that we must dig when the when the exclamation point is at its biggest point. Beanstone gap. Do I know where all of these are off the top of my head? No. Oh. The precise excavation of archaeological artifacts, uh, a little bit more difficult than you'd imagine. 
Oh, there's one here. It's a grid pattern search. We're basically looking for milk molars at this point, which is... Oh, a task. I don't even have a scabby radar. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There is no way that's going to make any sense. I'm putting an ex expiration date on, on figuring that one out. Good luck, folks. Um, so we got three that were just laying around there. Thought there was one over here. Oh! Right there. <sighs> I don't remember if it was five and five or if it's four and six. There might be one just right around by old Professor Man. searched all the way up here. We haven't searched all the way down here. Oh, there's the last one. Okay, so it is five and five. Note for future self, it is five and five. All right, now that was all the beamlet, so I can go and give that back to What's-His-Nuts. Yo, my poor little beadlet buddies! You got them all back for me! Yo, many thanks, bros. I'm practically crying. I'm so relieved these doodlets are safe. Anyways, ride on, bros. Here's your reward, as I promised you. Got a golden mushroom. Um, what does that actually do? It's 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 a rarer item. Max HP and growth points. So just, it's a, it's a full, full heal. Um, B out. B out of here. Okay, um... Let's start checking this corner. Yep, I knew it. I knew there was one here. Whereabouts is it? There it is. Now, there's not like additional side quests in town, but there's a good reason that I'm doing this now is because these... This beanstone thing is... Maybe the most powerful thing we can do in the game for reward, like early game reward. This will carry us for most of the rest of the game, I think. Um, it's gotta, it's gotta be one here, right? Yeah, there we are. What's inside that house that I've not gone into is a hint house. It just it gives you, like, where you need to go next. Actually, you are on one of these platforms, I want to say. Yeah. This is three on this screen, so we got two more. Is there one here somewhere? Where is this thing? It's doing a grid search pattern here, you know. Really? Okay. Can't do a high jump off of Mario in that state, unfortunately. Uh oh, oh yeah, okay, okay. There is one, there is one here. I was like, I was gonna say, I'm losing it. There we are. A little bit odd doing it from the front like that. I'm normally used to doing it side by side, but it's fine, it's fine. There should be one up top here, if memory serves. Yep, 
Yep, there it is. Ha! I would say, all things considered, that was particularly painless. All right, Buckaroo. Ooh, you have found all... <laughs> I forget what his voice was. Found all ten of the Swabian sparkling beanstones. With this evidence, I can at least announce my hypothesis. Perhaps, perhaps I should reward you for your endeavors. I believe that you will accept this reward I promised you. We got the Bros Rock Badge. Boy, do bros ever rock. Yo, okay, so... The Bean Badge is giving me plus 6 BP and plus 8 power. The, the, the Bros Rock is, is, on top of that, adding another 14 and 12 to the power. It's insane how much more power this gets you. Um, so obviously I get this to Mario, who was already incredibly strong. And just will have more, more bros points. Yeah, it's, it's 20 and 20. It's just increasing my, 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 it, it's, that's, whew, it's a good page. Um, to which I can now give you more BP for less power. I don't think I need to do that. Okay. So that is almost all of the what to do shopping wise. Now, I would like to buy additional new things. Uh, that's not gonna do it for me. That's not gonna do it for me. That's not gonna do it for me yet. Turns out all your all your pants kinda suck. Now, nothing's gonna touch that badge that we have available to equip at all, so. No, 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 We're, we are all good, turns out. I'm good to leave. Thanks so much. Window shopping is absolutely free. Okay. We have... <laughs> you can see how many times I've played that minigame now. 40 hee hee beans. 18 chuckle beans. 11 hoo beans. And barely any woo beans. Huh? Ha ha! Let's break open a spreadsheet. Hey! Hey, this is the famed Starbeans Cafe that everyone's a buzz about. Got any complaints, compliments? Now, you're ready to know our special Starbean system, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Right on, and show me the beans you've collected. What's your order? Let us, next menu, I want to get a Teehee Espresso. So I need 15. Okay, all right, well, I don't have enough beans for this. Yes, reset the beans. Yes. Uh, next menu. So I need... Uh, note taken here. Uh, I don't have note taken here. Where is a good spot to take in some notes? For myself. For myself. Oh, for myself. Okay, um, so I need, uh, well, that's a lot of notes, but I have not updated in a while. Okay, 15 times 3, so it'd be 45. And then 10 for the other ones. Okay. Uh, back to me. And then the woohoo is 45 plus 25 would be 67. So 70 total. Uh, so it'll be 70. 70 greens. And then 35 of the rest. Oh, so I did actually need all, all 40. Well, I needed... I didn't need 40, I needed 35. Okay, there you go. Okay, uh, back to me. What is my order? I will do a Teehee blend because that is the one that I can do. Uh, and I guess I will cross off Teehee blend from my list. Uh, so Teehee blend we got. 
blend check mark. Okay. Confirm that as a bean drink. One tea he blend ready to go. Whoa, a power outage. Oh man, I've got a bad feeling about this. Mansion game when, please and thank you? Or like sprite based? Like a little bit more arcadey. Ah, looks like an aroma of new drinks has drawn out all the ghosts in this place. Whoa, I was wondering who it could be. This is the beloved owner of our cafe, Professor Egad. Welcome to my Starbean Cafe. Seeing you two, this is our most unexpected chance meeting. Hey, you guys know the owner? That blending machine is our owner's latest invention. Have you tried the drinks made by my latest invention? The wondrous Bean Bean Machine? It is a stimulating flavor, will put a spicy tingling in your cheeks. Yes, quite a tingling indeed. Hmm, the rich and romantic fragrance of that drink. I sense that that is a drink even I haven't partaken of. May, may I have a drink? Ah, a delicately bitter flavor, but one that makes me crave more. This stuff gives me the energy to push my ghost research into a new dimension. Thank you for that sample. Here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. I got the greed wallet. It's handy. Well, I hope you will continue to frequent my fine cafe. I'm always happy to have friends partake of the fine flavors produced by my bean bean machine. All right, um... Yeah, I see you later, bud, there. Yeah, sorry, I don't actually have enough beans to do what I need to do. I could get enough to knock out all of these special blends if I go and grind up 45 woo beans. That takes a little bit of doing. But it's kind of worth it, because these... These, uh... Bean equipment, Greed Wallet, doubles the amount of coins you get. Um, there's some really powerful things in there. Um, and it's gonna be a minute before we get back into town to do what we need to do. So... In regards to that... It is overworld exploration time. Instead of running urgently to go and deal with what's happening over at the university, we have some exploration to do. And I think that is reasonable. Yes, okay. We're gonna go do a tour. We're gonna go do a tour. So there's good stuff. We might even be able to get up some more chuckle beans so that we can do a full bean roast. Not only are they X marks the ground, but you can see there's like the, the bean is sprouting. Oh, wrong one. That's where we came out under Chuckle Huck Woods, by the way. Would love to get in there to get those blocks, but no such. Ow. I just wanted to show off that they include the death noise there. It didn't accidentally just die three times in a row for no good reason. Little 2D mini Luigi adventure. It's fine. Why do I need to go above ground there? I don't know. But bounce over my head next time. Thank you. Congratulations! Excellent job making it all the way here. Let's commemorate this moment with this. Take it, please! And another golden mushroom. Thanks, bud. 